Hello everybody, uh, myself Prasanth Mukhavadhyay, faculty member, electrical engineering department, Guitar Kolkata College of Engineering and Management. In our last class uh, of uh, this uh, power electronics and drives, uh, we have uh, started uh, the discussions with uh, IC triple uh, five timer, and we have discussed uh, its uh, uh, general uh, pin configuration. Uh, today uh, we'll uh, start with uh, discussion of uh, triple five uh, timer basics. So uh, the triple five uh, timer combines a uh, relaxation oscillator, two comparators, and RS flip flop, and uh, discharge capacitors. So. Uh, uh, it is uh, a combination of a relaxation oscillator to comparator and RS flip flop and discharge capacitors. So here a, a symbol of uh, SR flip flop is uh, shown. So from this uh, figure what we are finding, so we are finding here uh, two transistors uh, T1 and T2 are cross coupled. Uh, uh, the collector uh, of transistor uh, T1 uh, is uh, uh, the drives the base of transistor T2 uh, through uh, this resistor uh, RB2 okay so uh, collector of transistor T1 drives the base of the transistor T2 uh, through a resistor uh, this, this is RB base resistor that is uh, since it is of the uh, connected with the uh, second uh, transistor 2 so it is RB2 okay and collector of uh, transistor T2 uh, drives the base of uh, transistor T1 <coughs> through the uh, base resistors that is RB1 okay when one of uh, the transistors in the saturation uh, saturated state uh, the other transistor will be definitely in the cutoff state so if we consider uh, uh, transistor T1 to be saturated uh, then uh, uh, the collector voltage will be almost uh, zero uh, thus uh, there will be uh, um, a zero base drive uh, for transistor uh, T2 and uh, will go into cutoff steps and its collector voltage approaches to uh, that is just supply voltage that is a plus uh, VCC. So, uh, this voltage is applied to the base of the uh, transistor T1 and thus uh, will keep it uh, in uh, saturation. Okay, so uh, this is a symbol of uh, uh, SR flip flop. Uh, what we are uh, finding here, if we uh, consider uh, transistor T1 to be in the cutoff state, uh, then the collector voltage of T1 will be equal to plus VCC as I told you. So this voltage will uh, uh, drive uh, the base of the transistor T2 to saturation and thus the saturated collector output of transistor T2 will be almost uh, zero. So uh, this value when fed back to the base of the transistor T1 so will uh, drive it to cutoff. So thus the saturation and cutoff value of any one of the transistors decides the high and uh, low value of Q and its uh, complement. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> by adding uh, more components to uh, the circuit and RS flip flop is uh, obtained. So RS flip flop definitely is a circuit uh, that can set the Q output to high or reset it uh, uh, low. And incidentally, a uh, uh, complementary that is opposite uh, output of Q that is here, here it is the complementary of Q is available uh, from the collector of the transistors and the schematic symbol for SR flip flop uh, it is shown here oh, okay so um, and um, the circuit latches in either the Q state or its uh, complementary state uh, high value of S input uh, sets the value of Q to go high and a value of uh, R uh, input resets the value of Q to low here yeah. ok and uh, uh, output Q remains in a given state uh, until uh, uh, it is triggered into the opposite state so uh, that's about uh, this um, SR flip flop 
uh, which is one of the important component of basics of a triple five uh, timer. So now we'll uh, discuss uh, the triple uh, five IC uh, uh, timing circuit. Okay, so <coughs> let us uh, see how we'll uh, let's see. Let uh, uh, wait for a bit to come with the picture the diagram now the basic timing uh, concept uh, is that uh, oh see uh, this circuit uh, from this figure uh, assuming uh, the output of SR uh, flip top uh, uh, Q to be high okay let us uh, suppose that Q to be high and uh, uh, this high value is uh, passed on the base of the uh, transistors okay so um, and uh, the transistor gets saturated okay so um, just uh, producing uh, zero voltage at the collector okay or uh, zero voltage at the uh, uh, collector and uh, the capacitor voltage is clamped at uh, ground uh, capacitor voltage is uh, uh, clamped at uh, uh, ground okay so mm, and uh, uh, that is the capacitor C is sorted and uh, cannot charge. The inverting input of uh, the comparator is fed with a control voltage and uh, the non inverting input is fed with a threshold voltage. Okay. Uh, inverting input uh, to ground and uh, non inverting uh, to the uh, threshold. This is the comparator. Okay. So, uh, uh, with an RS flip flop uh, set, uh, the saturated transistor holds the threshold voltage at zero. Okay. Clear. Yeah. So, uh, the control voltage, uh, however, is uh, fixed at uh, two third of the uh, supply voltage plus uh, BCC and that is uh, let's say at 10 volts uh, because of the voltage divider uh, okay now uh, suppose that a high voltage is applied to the R input of the R flip top and uh, this uh, resets the flip top R output uh, Q goes low and the transistor is cut up Okay, so capacitor C is now free to charge. The capacitor free uh, C is now free uh, to charge. As this capacitor C uh, charges, uh, the threshold voltage uh, rises and eventually the threshold voltage uh, becomes uh, slightly greater than. Uh, plus 10 volt and the output of the comparator then uh, goes high and forcing the RS uh, flip flop to set yeah you see okay and uh, the high Q output uh, saturates the transistor and uh, this uh, quickly discharges uh, the capacitor and uh, an exponential uh, rise to is across uh, the capacitor C and a uh, positive going uh, pulse appears at the output C, uh, output uh, Q and uh, thus capacitor voltage BC is exponential while the output is rectangular and this is shown here. Okay. This is a term. clear. So uh, this is the basic timing uh, concept uh, uh, of 
of uh, triple five uh, timer. Uh, now we'll uh, discuss uh, triple five uh, IC timer block diagram. See, this is the triple five IC uh, timer uh, block diagram. As I told you, oh, this part we have already uh, discussed. Okay, like this in the uh, timing basic timing circuit. So here the block diagram uh, of a triple five timer is uh, um, has two comparators. So we have uh, discussed with uh, initially with one comparator for the basic uh, timing circuit. Here there are two, two comparators. So upper and lower. Um, so which are uh, basically uh, two op amps uh, and RSP plug and two transistors and a uh, resistive network. Okay. See. Here. So this is a uh, uh, basic uh, triple five uh, timer plug diagram. So uh, resistive network consists of three equal resistors and act as a voltage divider. Here it is. See, all of three are equal, R R R, and it this, this is uh, working as a voltage divider circuit. Okay. <coughs> Capacitor comparator one compares uh, threshold voltage with a reference voltage of uh, plus two third VCC. This one and uh, comparator two compares the uh, trigger voltage uh, with a reference voltage of uh, plus uh, one third VCC uh, volt. Here it is. Okay, and this is trigger and this is threshold. Now output of uh, both uh, the comparators is uh, supplied to the flip flop. RS flip flop. Yeah. See. Okay. Now. Um, flip flop assumes its uh, state according to the output of the two uh, comparators. Uh, one of the two transistors uh, is a distress transistor of which uh, collector is connected uh, to pin 7. Uh, see this one. Okay, this is distress tran transistors. Here. Uh, the transistor saturates or uh, cuts off uh, according to the output. Uh, um, state of the flip-flop and the saturated uh, transistor provide uh, a discharge part uh, to a capacitor on uh, capacitor connected ex externally. Uh, base of another uh, transistor is connected uh, to a reset terminal and um, a fan applied uh, to this uh, terminal resets uh, the whole timer uh, irrespectively of any uh, input. So that's all about uh, the triple five uh, uh, IC timer circuit. So we have started this uh, uh, discussion with uh, a basic uh, timing concept with this circuit. Okay. Uh, then uh, we uh, extended this uh, for the basic uh, diagram of IC uh, triple five uh, timer. See this one. We have taken two uh, say comparators here and uh, two transistors and uh, say uh, three equal uh, resistor network uh, resistor circuit for voltage divider circuit. Uh, this comparator is uh, for trigger and this is for threshold. Okay, so uh, so actually. Mm, so this is the uh, IC triple five timer uh, actually timing uh, circuit and basics of it. Now we'll uh, start the discussion of the working uh, principle of uh, IC triple five. So before uh, uh, discussing the working principle, we'll refer our um, uh, the block diagram of triple five uh, timer IC uh, that is shown here. Okay, so this one. So we will take in. Uh, we'll take uh, the help of this uh, circuit for uh, uh, so discuss the working principle of triple five timer. 
so now we'll uh, discuss the principle of uh, triple pipe timer and for that we'll uh, take the help of this uh, 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 di diagram okay so look at this diagram very carefully this is the upper comparator this is the lower comparator uh, this is uh, the resistive uh, network uh, work as a voltage divider circuit uh, or uh, this is uh, uh, the is a flip flop so uh, output of uh, upper computer is connected to the uh, terminal S that is set and uh, the computer output is connected to the reset uh, terminal so this one third voltage is of this lower computer is uh, uh, working as trigger and this is for threshold for the upper computer and this is the transistor for uh, discharging so uh, let us uh, discuss uh, with this uh, this is supply voltage PCC and this is the reference voltage and this is reset point and this is the uh, output of the timer so these are the different pins uh, this is ground 1 uh, this is for trigger 2 3 is for output uh, 4 for uh, reset uh, 5 for control uh, 6 for uh, threshold uh, 7 for discharge and 8 for uh, supply so that we have uh, discussed in our uh, um, uh, pin connection uh, diagram ok now come to this uh, discussion of working of uh, principle of this uh, triple pipe uh, timer so internal register uh, act as a voltage divider network as I told you uh, that is uh, providing uh, two third of the VCC at the non-inverting terminal of the upper computer and one third uh, of the VCC at the inverting terminal uh, of the lower computer. So that is shown here. Okay. So this is uh, uh, for lower computer in uh, inverting terminal and two third uh, for upper com uh, uh, computer. Okay. So, uh, upper computer, uh, uh, in most applications the control input is uh, not used. So, the control voltage equals uh, to plus to type PCC. Uh, upper computer is a threshold pin uh, 6 and a control uh, input pin uh, 5. Here, you can see this one. Okay. This will uh, pin 6 and this is the uh, control pin 5 for the upper component. So <coughs> now uh, uh, output of the upper computer is applied to the uh, set uh, that is yes, input of the flip flop. Yes. Okay. Now and uh, uh, whenever the threshold voltage exceeds uh, the control voltage, uh, the upper computer will uh, set the flip flop and its uh, output is high. And uh, high output uh, from the flip flop when uh, given to the base of the discharge transistor saturates it and uh, thus discharge uh, the transistor uh, that is connected externally to the uh, discharge pin 7. I told you and showed it earlier. Okay. So, Uh, the complementary signal output of the flip flop goes to pin 3. Here it is. Okay. Now, <coughs> so um, this uh, output available uh, complementary signal output to goes to pin 3 and the output available at pin 3 is low so these conditions will prevail uh, until the lower computer uh, triggers the flip flop uh, even the voltage at the threshold input falls below 2 third of VCC uh, the upper computer cannot uh, cause the flip flop uh, to change again so it means the upper computer can only force the flip flop's uh, output uh, high 
and uh, to change the output of flip flop to low uh, the voltage at the trigger input uh, must uh, fall uh, below plus uh, one third pcc so that is at the um, one third pcc that means at lower computer when this occurs uh, the lower computer uh, uh, triggers the flip flop uh, forcing its uh, output to low and uh, the low output from the flip flop turns the discharge transistors off and uh, forces the power amplifier uh, to output a high so uh, these conditions uh, uh, will continue independent of the voltage on the trigger input uh, and lower computer can only cause the flip flop to the output uh, low ok that is uh, shown here Uh, um, upper computer for uh, flip flops output high and lower computer for flip flops output low. So, from these discussions, uh, what we are finding, uh, so we can conclude that uh, for having low output from the timer triple five. Uh, the voltage and the threshold input must exceed the control voltage that is of uh, two third of uh, plus two third VCC and this also turns the discharge transistor uh, on uh, to force uh, the output from the uh, timer high and uh, the voltage and the trigger input uh, must drop below one third VCC uh, this turns the discharge transistor off uh, so voltage may be applied to the control input uh, to change the levels at which the switching occurs. When not in use, a uh, 0.01 nanofarad uh, capacitor should be connected between pin 5 and uh, ground to uh, prevent a noise uh, coupled uh, onto the uh, this pin from causing false triggering. So, uh, so connecting uh, the reset pin 4 to, uh, to a logic low will uh, place a high on the output of the flip top uh, that is shown here okay. uh, this is here So um, this condition will uh, continue until reset is taken high. So this allows uh, the synchronization of the uh, resetting of the circuit's operation when not in use. Uh, reset should be tied to um, plus BCC. Okay. So that is the uh, um, basic uh, working principle of a uh, table five uh, trimer uh, circuit. So that is uh, comprises of uh, this uh, two comparator, upper comparator and lower comparator. This upper comparator is responsible for uh, say getting the output of the uh, uh, SF flip flop high and lower comparator for uh, getting uh, output uh, low. Oh, and uh, for this upper computer to this threshold voltage must be must exceed this uh, two third of uh, supply voltage VCC and uh, for uh, keeping it uh, low, it will be the trigger uh, voltage of the low uh, or comparator should be uh, below this one third BCC. So, and that's uh, a way uh, this is uh, this timer uh, uh, is uh, worth uh, in this way. So, it is comprised of two comparators uh, that is basically two op amps, uh, one flip flop, uh, two transistors. Uh, uh, the register to network for uh, what is the way the circuits and uh, so all oh, that uh, is the uh, typified timer block diagram and uh, see uh, we have seen uh, uh, today uh, that is the basics of uh, uh, a typified uh, uh, timer circuits we have started with this that means uh, Say, as I told you, uh, relaxation oscillators, so two comparators, uh, uh, an RS flip flop, uh, and the uh, DC capacitors. Okay, and uh, of course, the uh, resistor divider circuits. So, we have discussed uh, these are two cross couple uh, transistors. So, uh, 
uh, connected uh, to the base of one transistor is connected uh, to the collector of the others uh, through a base resistor circuit and uh, to keep uh, the say uh, output uh, q uh, and to generate its uh, complementary q prime or q bar whatever it is and uh, this is the symbol of uh, uh, circuit tops um, so we have discussed uh, the operation of this uh, circuit top circuits then uh, it is the basic timing circuit okay to generate the rectangular pulse uh, we have discussed uh, all these things now we uh, talk about uh, this IC uh, triple pipe uh, timer block diagram so as we uh, discussed it is also compared to number two comparators uh, relaxation oscillators uh, uh, RS flip flop circuit or ASA flip flop circuits or laser uh, divider circuits and they and you too when it is not in use a uh, capacitor circuit for uh, so the discharging or to uh, reduce the noise uh, of uh, this uh, technical timer so um, that's uh, uh, complete our, uh, our discussion on the basic uh, uh, to give a basic idea before using uh, the technical timer uh, as uh, as stable monostable and bistable say multivibrator circuit uh, so we have uh, if we uh, take a quick uh, recapitulation we will uh, find that uh, triple five uh, timers it's um, say um, uh, pin uh, configurations it's uh, basics uh, it's basic timing circuit and then it's uh, working okay and that is not uh, all triple five uh, a timer can also use some more applications as I told you so it can be uh, used as uh, a stable multivibrator uh, can be used as a monostable multivibrator can be used as oscillator or it can be used as a RAM generator etc but uh, uh, mostly we will uh, confine our discussions on uh, the say um, how triple five uh, timer is used as uh, multivibrator so whether it is uh, as stable monostable or bistable so that will uh, uh, discuss uh, in uh, our next uh, discussions uh, so uh, before uh, 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 closing the discussions of this class uh, I must ask uh, all of you that uh, whether uh, you have uh, uh, say uh, com comfortable with this uh, discussion or not uh, if you have any 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 problem uh, regarding uh, this uh, triple timers or uh, this uh, unit basically which is a switching and timer circuits uh, and uh, this is a part of uh, this uh, switching and timer circuit we have uh, Earlier we have uh, discussed uh, this uh, switching uh, circuit and multivibrator circuit using OPM. Now we'll uh, uh, discuss after uh, this uh, uh, discussion of uh, this uh, typical timer. It's a configuration, it's timing uh, circuits, it's uh, working principles. So next uh, we'll see where, how it can be used uh, as a multivibrator circuit. And basically, uh, I told you earlier also. So this uh, switching circuit, why we read actually this, uh, why we have to know, uh, um, say, uh, knowledge about this uh, switching and timer circuit, uh, because in power electronics and drives, uh, mostly the in uh, converter part, that is, uh, whether it is uh, rectifier or whether it is the inverter uh, or whether it is the uh, AC regulators. Whatever it is, we will mostly use SCR circuits and you know SCR uh, as I discussed in our earlier and the very beginning that is SCR is a three terminal device where mostly uh, it is uh, the control of uh, the output is uh, or it is uh, done with uh, the firing uh, uh, supplied to the gate signal 
So that's why this time cycle is important. Uh, that's why we have discussed.